but it's so good for you. Uh, back in the day, Greeks used it for sure. And back in the day, you know, like they didn't have medicine. They didn't have hospitals like that. They had plants and herbs that they used as medication. doing today first of all can y'all tell that your girl got a new camera i'm lit i'm lit i'm so excited i wanted this camera because i wanted to start doing like some makeup videos not tutorials but just like testing products that i like so stay tuned because those videos will be coming soon and um yeah but today's video is going to be a really quick one i'm just going to share what works for me my experience with bleeding and sore gums and how i can completely cure it within 24 hours not cure it but um how i make the symptoms go away within 24 hours it is like a foolproof method i love it and i remember telling a couple of my friends to do it and they came back to me telling me that it works so i want to share it with you because it's lit up in this bit <laughs> So if you watch my other video on oil pulling, you know that I am a fan, but not so fan of it. So it is great. I do love it. And I did get a gap. So make sure you go watch that video so you can understand what I mean and how I say like oil pulling is good, but not good for me, me. And I do want to put this out there. People's experiences are different. People have different skin types. People have different bodies. People have different reactions to other to certain things especially natural pot products so please keep in mind that this is my experience okay i cannot stress that enough because i've been getting a lot of backlash and i don't understand like i'm just sharing like what has happened to me now when it comes to sore gums and it comes to bleeding gums that has happened to me a lot over the years i'm telling you like i have cavities i have root canals i have very weak teeth and when your wisdom teeth grow in y'all your gums are gonna be bleeding and they're gonna be swollen as a mother and they're gonna be sore and that has happened to me and I'm 30 years old I still have all four of my wisdom teeth and I believe the top ones aren't fully grown but they're mostly grown and the bottom ones are like fully grown I'm not taking them out I don't care how many dentists I go to and they tell me to take out my wisdom teeth I am NOT taking them out unless it causes like other other problems okay and I still get sore gums here and there I still get bleeding gums here and there I have weak weak teeth so if you are struggling if you are suffering from bleeding gums or sore gums even it sh shoot like a canker sore this is what you can do all you got to do is get some mouthwash and it has to be the mouthwash with alcohol in it. Uh, I know people are like, oh, that's bad for you. It's not that bad for you. Like, people drink alcohol. So what are you saying, okay? So get the mouthwash, Listerine, uh, Sculpt, whatever it is. But it has to have alcohol in it. I personally like to use Listerine. I am a Listerine girl. I love every single Listerine mouthwash. Even the one that tastes like caca. Like, I love it, okay? And you mouthwash the, you know what, sugar honey iced tea out of your gum for like all day okay so every chance you get I suggest you carry a small bottle with you anytime you go to the bathroom to pee anytime especially after you eat make sure you are rinsing your mouth with water first to get all the food and everything out and then make sure you are mouth washing your mouth with Listerine or whatever mouthwash you choose it has to have alcohol in it cuz alcohol kills germs okay and I'm telling you, all you gotta do is do that like eight times a day. Like, not even five minutes, maybe like two minutes. Like, just make sure you get in there, floss and mouthwash as well. Brush it, mouthwash right away. The next day, I guarantee you, I promise you, your gums are going to be less sore. They're going to be less swollen. They're probably not gonna bleed. Like, your symptoms are gonna pr probably fully go away because that has happened to me but that's all you got to do okay another thing you can do is the oil pulling um it doesn't work as quickly as a uh, mouthwash does and i've listen i've been there done that okay like i had a gum recently that has been bleeding i don't know why because my teeth is just trash trash i need a whole new mouth but um I have tried oil pulling and even after a couple of days it's still it's like sore and after I floss my teeth and mouthwash like a couple of times a day like it's already 
like the symptoms are already being relieved okay another option that you can do is use oregano oil now I'm gonna be honest I have not done this but I've read a lot about this I just don't like I just never remember to pick it up when I'm in the supermarket like I keep forgetting about this freaking oil but it's so good for you uh, back in the day Greeks used it for sure and back in the day you know like they didn't have medicine they didn't have hospitals like that they had plants and herbs that they use as medication they use plants and herbs and the oils from them so oregano oil is good for it's like antiviral antibacterial antimicrobial what all of those anti stuff is really good for you inflammation is really good for you so now it's such a strong oil it's almost like an essential oil so you want to make sure you only put like two drops mix it with your coconut oil when you do your oil pulling okay and that should help if you guys do that please let me know uh, I'm gonna test that myself I'm just I guess I'll wait until the next time my gums get sore and I'll test it out myself for y'all but um that's about it I hope this video helps you guys I don't want this video to be too long of me rambling because y'all be going in on me like I don't know but just go in on the subscribe button and the like button and the comments and you know help a sister out if y'all gonna really go in thank you very much <laughs> make sure you follow me on Instagram I do post videos on my Instagram and my Facebook page those to are the same videos and um those are more like rants and me like you know giving tips and tricks to like just random talking shit you know i like to talk my shit or whatever but youtube i try to be like uh as informative as possible you know okay guys make sure you follow me on instagram make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and uh check out my website lisaunique.com things about it oh no that's not it actually make sure you check out me and my husband's youtube channel it is called the saints you can find it on my pages everywhere everywhere okay we are participating in vlogmas so make sure you check that out okay love you guys keep it geek freak chic and sleek but most importantly keep unique bye